What's happening, B? Special guest what in the house. Welcome in. What's up, people? Yeah, Welcome in, yeah, Hashmark yeah. Show, oh, week the nine. Beast. We got the beast. We got the beast. The beast. Special guest, uh, host of the FYO Show. Welcome in, man. God bless you, by the way. Uh, how the hell have you been, man? You've been off the fucking air for like 10 weeks. Let's talk. You all right? <laughs> yeah, how we doing, peace? Doing good uh, now? It was, uh, it was a weird oh, turn of events, you know. Uh, what I was, happened? I was in the hospital, like the like big hospital for like 15 days. Uh, got a, a little bit of pancreatitis and uh, turned into acute pancreatitis. So that went from uh, was he like, too many of them hot chips, beast. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, it's actually, I think it was, uh, dude, I cannot eat like uh, sausage pizza. Like I am like that is like one of the things that my stomach just can't handle and just like I think it like it so pancreatitis basically your pancreas just flares up and just it puts pressure on your stomach and it's just it's it's painful. So <laughs> I yeah, spent glad you're okay, okay, beast. Glad you're okay, my boy. Oh yeah, we're uh we're uh, so yeah. Then I found out while I was there that I am also a type two diabetic. So I've been uh, <laughs> learning a whole new lifestyle here. So oh, uh, FYO, oh, F- 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 FYO, getting a new sponsor. Uh, sugar uh, Kool Aid is out. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Kool-Aid. yeah, yeah. All right. We- so wait. So 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 Kate Tate and Dylan, they're fine too. They're still good. You guys gonna be coming on here what a couple weeks, two weeks? Uh, I think I think we're gonna try to shoot for next week. We okay. we're gonna try to do this week, but uh, you know, we're trying to work on all the we're working on our the little kinks and you know our show that we kind of want to straighten out and like make better. So that was one of the things they said when we were when I was out. They're like, hey, there's some things I think you know that can make the show better, and that's kind of what we're. We're working on as a team, so you know we're a, we're a team, just like you guys are a team, you know. So we like, are a fucking goddamn. Beautiful. Brilliant. That is right. All right, let's jump right into this. You're gonna join us here for a couple. <coughs> of weeks. Are you ready? I'm and we're ready. gonna cover we're gonna cover Raiders too, and I want you and Notch to go at it. All right, welcome to the Hashmark <laughs> Show. It is week nine. We're all Fuck here. Up. Uh, we've got a, a just a just a great team this week. Uh, this show obviously sponsored by Jam Soul, John's Architectural Metal Solutions. You can see the sign right behind me. This is the official sign from Jam Soul. This is their jam panel, leftover uh, equipment and or excuse me, not equipment, but stuff they use and fab themselves for buildings. And they now make signs. So, again, you can get your own sign, by the way. And we'll talk more about that later. But if you sign up at HashmarkSports.com, you got to be a subscriber on YouTube, uh, as well as, again, going to HashmarkSports.com. Uh, sign up for our emails, and you'll be uh, automatically in the drawing to win your own free sign. And uh, just if you're wondering, the beast, yes, FYO, you guys will get it, be getting your, your own signs as well. Uh, nice. Unfortunately, there's a long list, but we can talk later how you bump up that list. Are you guys ready? Are you guys fucking Woo! ready? We're going right into it. Fucking right. ready. Let's fucking go. We're going right in. We gotta go. Imagine we gotta go, up, baby. Let's no, go. we gotta go. We gotta go. Let's like go. I can't even. I gotta go. Like no, I gotta we, go. We're fine. We're fine. I gotta go. <laughs> Hold on, time out. Important call coming in from the Bears. Yeah, don't do it. Not worth Play it. Poop. <laughs> Play, yeah, Clay Poole. Clay, Clay Poole. What the fuck was that Clay Poole shit, man? He's, that, top wide like rec- that, he's a top three wide receiver, baby. Shut the who? fuck up. Who? That was who stupid, said that? Uh, yo, yo, who? I'm not saying What the fuck are the Bears Clay doing, Rick? Tell him. What the Come fuck are Rick? They tell him, Rick. Who? Who? Oh, my who? God. Well, what a, well, what? This is perfect. What we could do a, we could do a Clay Poole prop coming up here on Bet Openly. Right. Um, uh, Chase Claypool now, Chicago Bear wearing number 10. I don't like the Mitch Trubisky effect as much as I like number 10 in soccer. Your thoughts? Go ahead, Chris. Oh, I love, I absolutely love the move. I mean, I obviously I'm a Notre Dame fan. I've been watching the kid at Notre Dame. Uh, I think he's a stud, makes plays. Now, listen, he's not like a fucking hop, uh, Hopkins or, you know, he's, he's, he's gonna make plays and that's all we need. We don't need a guy. We don't need a DeAndre Hopkins. We just need a fucking guy to make some plays for us. The guy is Justin Fields. And we just need to make sure Justin Fields has got weapons you go to first, fucking Rick, throw to. I'll back you, up. you go, Rick. I'll back you up. Clay Poo-Poo. Clay Poo-Poo. I don't like it. See, I, I don't like it, man. I, I do not like it. He is Bro. A number what? Number four, number five? What, what are we doing? Sit down. Sit down. I- 
What sense does this make? Building for the future. No yeah, yeah, I think they're just building, building for, the for the future. Like, I, I, like, building with Claypool, <laughs> Clay. Oh my god! I think I think it makes I'm sense. Sorry, though. Man. I yeah, mean, what do you got? Beast, no, beast, yeah, beast. it does not beast, make sense. Beast, beast, does not beast, make sense. beast, what do you got here? Anyway, I agree with you. I think I think what Ricky Knotts is saying is is it makes sense. You're gonna have a hundred million in cap. You're gonna have a first round pick that's gonna be probably what top fifteen, top ten. You got um, two second round picks. You got a lot of draft capital. You know, I think I think it's it's something that makes sense. I mean, you have a good pick. You what well, you go out and get? You don't need a running back. You might get a. A wide receiver, maybe a linebacker to replace Roquan Smith in the first round, or you go out in free agency because there's gonna be there's gonna be guys out there to, for them to grab. Hundred million, I, th- I think I think tanking makes sense, but I don't know. Tanking makes sense, but why Claypool? Like why? They need a deep threat. Why? They need somebody I, why I, tell, I tell you what, why Claypool, Claypool is. I don't get it. And uh, hash mark Iowa representing strong. Um, what do you got here? Uh, Jam Soul Lock of the Week, uh, NFL Week 9, 22. What do you like this week in a lock? They've got wide receivers. They've got Eckler. They've got Herbert. I think, you know, they can, I think they can run amok on uh, the Falcons' defense. That's, that's my lock of the week. All right, Eddie, what do you got? Lock of the Week. I'm going with Kyler Murray. And the Arizona Cardinals. Ooh. I got a lot of a little intel about like uh man when new games come out. So Kyler yeah. Burry's he's a gamer. So when mm. new games come out, last week I think uh Modern Warfare 2 or some new game came out and he was playing that shit. So you know, no game this week. I think he, read, he ain't looking at the playbook. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, exactly. He put a clause in there too that he has to uh you know, study certain amount of hours per week to study. So I think he puts work in and uh, the Cardinals get the win. I think the line is minus two money line is mm. minus minus one thirty. So let's go. Um, You know, I'm going to, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with my man, my man, Ricky Fontaine here, big time, big time. I'm going with Seattle. Uh, I really like uh, Seattle and my jam soul lock of the week. I think they're hot. I'm going to keep riding them here. Rick, what do you got? Jam soul lock of the week. Seahawks, no doubt about it. Seahawks will run the table with AZ. Seahawks, Geno covers, guarantee victory. Jam soul lock of the week. Chris, what do you got? Uh, my lock this week is Buffalo. Uh, the Jets in like four years have not scored more than 17 points against Buffalo. So I'm going to not even come close to stepping in front of Buffalo on this one. Buffalo later would. Let's look at Minnesota. Six and one team that is completely fraught. All right. Statistically, they should not be a six and one team. Horrible spot for them. They got Buffalo on deck. You guys talking about Buffalo. That's what they got on deck. We got Tyler Heineke. Yeah, he Spread's not right. Give me worst. Love it. All right. I love it too. So lock of the week there. Lock of the week is the Indianapolis Colts plus five and a half. Good luck. No offense to Aaron. I love him to death. Uh, but uh, fade, fade alert, high alert on the Aaron Jones picks. He's uh, 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 oh, and seven at this point. All right. We're going to head right into segment two here as we go over the games in the noon slate here. Indianapolis at New England. This one opened at uh, minus six. New England. Uh, now down to five and a half, some spots over under 40 and a half. Uh, Mr. Ireland, we'll start with you. What do you got in this game? Uh, this game, I wasn't sure if I should go under, but the, you see, it was 39 and a half when we, when we started, and now it's 40 and a half, I think, today. Um, but I think this is going to be two good defenses going at it. I think Mac Jones uh, bounces back after being kind of humiliated being taken out of the game like that last week. Uh, New England, lean under. I was going to go to Eddie uh, Notch. Do you want it to, to build off that? Or we yeah, gotta... I'll take it. I'll take it because because uh, here's why you can't just look at the stats all the time. Sometimes you got to actually watch the game. And I'll tell you, Ellinger did not look good. He, he looked like trash to me. I mean, I was expecting him to look good. I was on the coach. He did not look good. What is Bill Belichick known for, my guys? 
What's he do to rookie quarterbacks? He slays them. Eddie, what do you got in this one? Like the Colts, plus five and a half. The Pats, they uh, did some decent work against the Jets, you know, but it was close in the beginning. So we'll see. Maybe a backdoor cover with the five and a half. Staying away from the points, but I'm going to hammer that over 41 and a half guarantee victory. Love, love that. It. Rick I and Cur- love it. Rick, and I'm seeing it right now at 40 and a half. I do like that. Good call. Yes. Beast, what do you got in this one? I think uh, the reason they went to uh, Matt Ryan was uh, Ellinger had such a – he had an amazing preseason. So they probably wanted to see what they can do with him in the future. All right, so we got Buffalo at New York this week. I don't, I don't see New York doing anything, especially fucking Wilson doing anything against this defense. I'm taking the Jets here. Uh, I already locked it in earlier in the week at plus 10 and a half. Um, excuse me, uh, 10 and a half. And I went over 10 uh, at 12. Go ahead. Uh, what do you got here, uh, Eddie? Definitely rolling with the Jets plus 12 and a half. But now that I'm really looking at it, I mean, does Buffalo give a fuck about this guy? I guarantee, my, I guarantee this will catch on. And then it, my, it, might uh, start, it might start trend, but I think we're ahead of the trend. And you fade, you, you fade. To Buffalo. me, to me, whatever the books need, you, if the books need Buffalo, you don't fade them. But if they don't need Buffalo, yeah. which in this situation, I think they probably just look at like the Jets being dominated by all these uh, AFC East teams so long. And I think we're going to start seeing that shit change. And 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 to me, I, I look at the at the Jets D line, man, the way they're performing in the trenches. I mean, they they're just blowing up the line of, line of scrimmage. And, and to me, I think they could stick in this game right here with that one. I I talked about how they were a young team and they were up and coming. Um, I think them being, I think the Buffalo Bills win this game. But I'm going to take the Jets at plus 11 and a half because I think they're going to keep it close. And a lot of Buffalo's games have been close this year. Miami Dolphins, warm weather team, visiting that Chicago Bears. How did we not have that in there before? The Bears. All right, so open at three and a half. Uh, here's the best part about this. Uh, the best part of uh, waking up, it's not Folgers in your cup. It's uh, a little bit of... Uh, Miami fish in your dolphin soup. Uh, Rick, I'll let it that. Probably the worst intro ever. I was trying to think of, should I go to this game? Yeah, you but lost it there. For should I go to this fucking tailgate? Uh, anyways, Rick, what do you got in this game? We love we love the Bears at, at, at the Patriots. We did not like them in, at uh, Dallas. Now we love them at home. You go floppy, 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 flip, flop. We hammer the Bears. They might win this fucking game, John. Bears cover guarantee. I like that. Let's go over to the, the beast. What do you got in this game? Yo, who's uh, who's got the weather for Sunday? What's what's it supposed to be like on Sunday? Uh, sunny. Yeah, sunny. Okay, so they made some moves to, you know, make that playoff push. They think they're a team that can contend. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys are Bear fans, but I'm gonna go the spread. I'm gonna go minus four and a half. Um, I think it's. I think that's where we go. All right, Eddie, what do you got in this one? I like the Dolphins to cover the four and a half. They got too many weapons, man. The Bears' defense looking pretty weak. They're tanking, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we talked a little bit about the props. Hopefully, Chase poop, Clay poop. Gets a, gets a CD, you know what I'm saying? First thing I'm going to say is, is what in the flying fuck's going to make you want to lay points with the fish here? Second thing I'm going to say is I've had this combo with a lot of people, and, and uh, I think uh, a lot of sharps, which why you've seen this initial line move, think that the, the fish are a little mispriced in the markets just because the drop off they think from Tua to the other quarterbacks that they've played with, right? So I think that's just Sharp playing the the number that they thought was miscorrect, but we saw it. I mean, it, it went up to to five, and where is it at now? So obviously there's some guys that feel the way I feel, and I just I I don't think the Fish are that good of a team. I mean, Bears covered this guy, easy boys, Jan. Ireland, what do you got? Yeah. I'm I'm with you on the, in the Bears cover this game. I think it's going to be a close game though. 
Um, but Bears do cover that game. Uh, I mean, the, the lines moved a lot, and then it's come back down, and like, so a lot of people are putting money on uh, Miami. So uh, I think the Bears. Uh, the, the the over is is um, a no brainer uh, for me for a number of reasons. It's still that following that theme of people think that you know the Bears aren't going to do anything. Um, you know, they've lost Roquan Smith. Their defense is going to get eaten up. That's just another reason to take the over, in my opinion. Um, the Bears are going to score points. Uh, they're at home. Hey, hey, DJ, hey, DJ, and I, I like this. I like this game. Green Bay minus three and a half. Now uh, live three and a half over under open at 48 and a half. Now to 49 and a half. Eddie. Man, I like the Packers to definitely win this game. But that back door seems to always slide open with the fucking Lions. So I'm going to roll with the Lions plus three and a half. Don't really have a lean on the over and under. You know, uh, but I like the Lions plus three and a half. Beast, what do you got here? Um, this is just it's a weird game to look at because you got two teams that are struggling. You've got the you've got the Lions who who can score a ton of points but can't stop you. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers should be able to carve up the this yeah. Lions, Lions yeah. Yeah. Tell me not. And and golf should be able to carve up this bum ass Packers defense. I'm pretty sure since we were kids, the Green Bay Packers, when they play the Lions, that shit flies over. You always bet the over when the Green Bay Packers play the Lions. That shit flies over. It might be fucking 38 to 35. Guarantee victory. This shit flies over. I I, I mean I already I agree seen that. It. I see it. DJ. It gets into the 60s, Rick. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers and Atlanta Falcons. Uh, this one opened up at minus three. Uh, now uh, three and a half. Still three some spots. 48 and a half uh, was the open now at 49. Chargers uh, struggling. Atlanta team we talked about a lot. Uh, on the fade, I'm going to go with the Chargers here for the simple reasons uh, uh, that I think things switch on uh, the Falcons. And, uh, yeah, I just like uh, the Chargers. Uh, same order here. We'll start with Eddie. Uh, I'm with the Beast. I'm with uh, DJ as well. I like the Chargers. You know, they need to win some games to have their in the playoff hunt in the AFC West. Um, you know, that three maybe goes up to three and a half. Scares me a little bit, but um, I think they uh, it adjusts and uh, Chargers prevail. Beasts, are you? Uh, you gave this one out earlier, I think. You know, in a, in a money line. I went. I went. I went, uh, I went Los Angeles at minus three, and then the money line is low enough for me to bet on. I'm not a big fan of betting over minus two hundred. Um, just for value. Um, that's just me, but I think the money line and the and the spread both good. All right, Rick, where you at here? Uh, I guarantee you're gonna take the Chargers because Knox was saying it is gonna change once you hit November. November, <laughs> guarantee victory. It's gonna the market will correct itself. The Chargers will win this game, guarantee going west to east at high noon. Book me charges, guarantee victory. Book me charges, Nats. What do you got here? Same. Just to repeat what Rick just said. What are we doing here for the next six weeks? We're fed in the motherfucking Falcons. Yep. Let's look at the spot. Divisional sandwich spot, like a motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, look. Did the Short Falcons week. deserve? Did they deserve to even win that game last week? Hell no, nah, they didn't. They got a couple weeks to rejuvenate themselves. Get healthy again. Yeah, they got to go out east. I don't care. Chargers minus three. Easy. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be quick here. Chargers minus three as well. I already have it booked. It's actually a, a um, five, five. Five. You play for me, Chris. What do you got? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm riding with the show. Minus three. I love it. Uh, I love it. Chargers. All right. Next game. Uh, the Las Vegas Raiders at Jacksonville. I cannot pick my Raiders this week. Oh fuck! Well, I can't even <laughs> rebuttal yet. I am. Come I, on, man. Have, the, you gotta have some for you. Dude. Now, here's I mean, the thing. What? Here's some the thing. The you, way, need, no. you need a new head coach. You need a new head. Yeah. Coach. Here's the thing. The Jaguars. You guys, like, you guys are probably looking at this, but like they, I've and I've been, I've been big on Trevor Lawrence all year, and in the FYO podcast, check it out. I go on a whole rant about Trevor Lawrence. 
Um, but they are in every game. They are within like six uh, or eight points games. of every game. The, yeah, they're one score games. And I, I truly respect that, man. I have no rebuttal for you because – and look, this game, I'm not on the Raiders and I'm not on the Jags either because guess what I'd rather do? I'd rather go up to the casino right now and put a chip on black or red because that, that's what this <laughs> game is. It literally is. It's so, it's so ugly. And all, so ugly. All, all the points you just made, Beast, are completely true. I mean, yeah, the Jags have been like – they're they're literally they're so close in all these games, and you would expect Dude, they, some upward movement lost the from last, them. What five games? It's crazy. Yeah, but but I mean they're they're right in them, and they just keep making stupid ass mistakes to. Yeah. And, and then the thing the thing I I want to really uh, move on that what Beach just said is that I, I what I'm gonna say is like that last game from the Raiders. That's literally the worst professional NFL performance I have seen mm-hmm. this season. Yeah, I mean, literally, the scheme wasn't there. Derek Carr wasn't there. Nothing was there. There was no fight there. And that was the get right spot for the Raiders. And I've talked about this a lot of times. The Raiders back up failure with more failure. And they back up success with more success. And and I, I told you guys when I was on the buy on like, OK, I'm sorry, I'm going to start buying the Raiders. There's no buy on the Raiders right now. And the Jags, they just find a way to put their fucking foot in their throat, too. This is a game that you just don't bet. You just don't yeah. bet it. But if you have to and you put a gun to your head, you do, like Beast just said, you take the team that is literally they've been teetering on a win. You don't take the team that's just completely, like, there's no prediction of what the Raiders are going to do. Like, maybe they show up like they did on the KC game. Maybe they shit the bed like they just did. Mm-hmm. In their supposable get right game last week. Easy no play. I love what the B said as a Raiders fan. Tip my hat to you, my boy. That's yeah, that's great. Okay. That's good stuff. That's you being a handicapper, not a fan. I love what yeah. you said. That's uh, yeah. I mean, I've I'm, learned I'm, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take the point. You're gonna see you're gonna see the Jags maybe do an onside kick, maybe do a fake punt. They're gonna do whatever it takes to try to win this game. Uh Raiders are gonna come out flat, West Coast to East Coast. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. There's, there's no. No, idea. they they actually there, stayed on the east no coast, idea. Rick. They stayed on, they stayed on uh, the east coast. They didn't even travel back. They, they, they stayed over there after the Saints game. So anyway, I'm gonna take the point. Their body clock should somewhat be adjusted now. I mean, give me the points. No action. I'm give me the points on the. Yeah, uh, it's a tough game. game. No, no, no action there either. Eddie, what do you got? Man, I don't got no action on this. I think it's a coin toss, like everybody said. But just to uh, go head to head, you know, I'm going to go with the Raiders. Um, I think that they're due and uh, they got the talent. All right, Seattle uh, at Arizona. This one, obviously, is seeing a lot of steam in prime time. Let's head down to Ricky Parlay, who has the latest on this game hey and more. Hey Ricky. Gino, Gino covers guarantee victory. He always covers. He will smash, smash AJ Jen, guarantee victory, and they will smash AZ. Watch it, watch it. Eddie, what do you got here on this one? Uh, this is my jam soul. I'm rolling with the Cardinals. You know, Kyler Murray, he's due. Um, I am on the Hawks, the Seahawks, John. Uh, I'm going to take the dog in this one. The dog is 12, three and one, the last 16. Um, I, 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 I just, I'm, I'm just so surprised what Seattle's doing. I'm not going to lie. And you know what? Their run game is, is, is uh, is, is going to pick up again this week. And I, I like, I like Seattle on this plus two, John outright winner, probably uh, nuts. And then we'll go over two out of beast. So, you know, I uh, I was talking about, you know, how you want to start looking here in November to start fading everything that's been working. And uh, the thing that's crazy is we, we look at Arizona. I mean, 0-7 at the house. That's a complete anomaly in a cluster like that. And then now they got off the snide, right? I mean, 0-2 at the – I mean, 2-0 and at the house. So – so what you like to look at when you're betting on sports, you want to find clusters of teams doing something that's such an anomaly and then find a cluster where you could bet on them to progress back to the mean, which is what 
these Arizona Cardinals are going to do right here. You're going to see them now all of a sudden they're going to start winning a bunch of home games. The Seahawks, yeah, I mean, God, I, I tip my hat to them, but it, it's not sustainable. It's just not. You know, I, I would. Mean, <clears throat> oh, sorry, Chris, you want to no, go? I was going to say, I was saying, like, that, be, that, um, like, that all makes sense. Go that ahead. all makes sense. Like, this, this is. This is a spot that I I didn't really like. I'm not betting this game. I I didn't. I I this is an official action that I have. I yeah. did bet the cards minus two. Like when when you were when you were giving your explanation, and I right after mine, like I I completely felt like a fucking. I know you told say not not to say it, but I definitely felt like a fucking Joe Schmo right there, because what you, what you said there makes makes a lot of fucking sense. I mean, and I I will say this real quick just to rub it in. How the Rams do last week? That's about how they did. <laughs> no, and I so, mean I, I was completely wrong in that spot. Right, and, and I was right. So you're Same honestly, here. I'm gonna be wrong. I'm gonna be wrong this week, and you're gonna be right this week. Better Arizona on this one, gentlemen. Well, you you know what's funny is um, I'm sorry to keep extending this, but uh, no, it's okay. but, but this really this really reminds me of uh, and it's so funny. It reminds me of the the Fal- the not the Falcons the the Hawks. Atlanta Hawks. Two birds. Two mm-hmm. birds. I mean, I saw this last year in the NBA season. The Atlanta Hawks had like a, a huge stretch where they were just complete lunch meat at the house. Yep. And then all of a sudden they just started winning at the house. And it like, like Yeah, I, I I agree with you 100 percent I think I think yeah. that, I think it's, it's a law sense. of averages. I mean, this sports betting Correct. Shit, you have to look at this. It's, it's one law week. of averages. I think Correct. things are always going to regress or progress to the mean. And yeah. This is the yeah. situation there. With these Falcons, they they will progress to the mean. They're gonna win a bunch of home games here in a big cluster. I put um, that put it on TikTok Seattle, after I said it. Watch, okay. I will. Se- Seattle being so fucking hot, and then you know they now they got to go away to a divisional opponent. Like yeah, this and dude. low key Seattle has not performed well again in the division this season. If you if you go look at it, I don't I don't have. I'm not gonna go look it up and and mumble and ramble on this shit but i did look at it earlier and, and seattle has not performed well in division this season they performed well out of division not so well in division so yeah give me give me the falcons here no no the falcons part. and hey the, is there is there also the a bit of- i always <laughs> confuse all the birds man too many birds in these too many birds man. how about really? how about the, how about the revenge factor i mean arizona that seattle too. beat arizona 19 19- you also home. have a revenge spot. I was just gonna revenge bring spot. up what I was just gonna bring up what uh, Chris was talking about. Last game was nineteen to nine. I don't re- I think this is too close of a game, especially with the spread being two points. I'm not gonna look to bet either Cardinals or Seahawks. I'm gonna probably look at the over under on this one, and I'm gonna probably go on the under here because it's at forty nine and a half. Division game, second game. I think they're both gonna have each other figured out. I think it's gonna be a low scoring affair again. It's not gonna hit 49 and a half. So my play here is the under 49 and a half. Hey, and, uh, sorry, another total I'm on. Sorry to, to go against you, Beast, but this is another total I bet it over. What uh, I got what, it at 49, but I, I did bet the over on this guy. What, uh, what's what's uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's your uh, thought process behind that? Is it just like D-hop, D-Hop being back, or and the I mean, the, the these, offense these, is getting more explosive? Well, okay, so well, I mean, I, I'm just I think uh, when we were talking with Gino, we were talking about this, and, and this is like you know, like all the trends that the book see everybody's talking about. These divisional unders, we're going to start seeing them go over. I like the over. I, I mean, Seahawks are a dead-ass over team anyway. And I, I do think the the cars now with D-Hop, I, I'm liking what I see out the offense. I think this game flies over. I, I think it gets into the 60s, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, and I, and I, I was just, I just – I didn't think it was, I was right 40, wrong. I was always, 49, I like 49 to, and a half. Like to hear 49 and a half knots, 49 and a half. I, I – let me, let me go. Let me pull up my best slip because I, I think I got it a little below that. It might have moved up since I bought it. Let me go check. Yeah, I mean, it's at, um, it's at 50 and a half. It's at 50 and a half? 
No, no, I did. I got it at 49. That's where I got it. Uh, it was yeah, it moved too much. 15 and a half last night. When I, when I Stay off that, around. Rick. Stay off. Um, what did you say, Beach? Yeah, stay off that bet. Yeah, for what is it? 49 and a half, you said? I bet it at 49. That, that's an official total I'm on as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, 40, for open at 40, no, I'm not, I'm not telling anybody to tell me or not. I'm just telling you guys what I'm in action on. Yeah, I like that. Open at 49 and a half, went to 49, 49 and a half, and jumped to 50, 50 and a half. But according to this, uh, live 49 and a half. All right. Yeah, I, I got it at 49. That's where I got it. At. Los Angeles Rams at the Tampa Sounds Bay. Like the hook might, might come into play, but we'll see. Nah, 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 nah. I like it anything under 51. I like it. Take it. Yeah. Los Angeles Rams. Was that the game we're on? Right. Los Angeles Rams at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This one opened up at uh, one and a half. Uh, this one's moved up now a little bit. Everybody pounding Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa Bay minus three over under. Now, this one opened up at 43 and a half now. Uh, 42 and a half, still at 43 at some spots. Uh, what do we got here? Go to Eddie. This is my money line dog of the week. I'm rolling with Giselle this week. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> Damn. Plus, plus 130. <laughs> plus 130. Giselle, plus oh, 130. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So, Are you with money know- line? Yeah, yeah. That's my dog of the week. I do like oh, real. I mean, it's a falling knife. The Bucks. I mean, you know, they got to get back. They you imagine where's your knife at? I'm gonna go. Well, that's yeah, Halloween how only. How did yeah. that go? Halloween. We passed. You got, you got two How'd falling knives here. Um, I, 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 <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, real exactly. quick, real quick, real the, quick. I'll tell you, Rick. The real falling, quick. the falling yeah. knife thing did not work well. I think he went one and eight. One and eight. He was bad. Oh no! Oh, you want me to pull no. it? Yeah, pull the tape. Pull it was bad. Tape. He was like, was he was like, it. man, it was so funny. He goes, he goes, Put that he's, like, away. he's like, 49ers, lost three, fade them. And I just show a clip. I've already got it made. I show a clip. 49ers win 49 to three. I mean, man. yeah, I, I, I wrote it down too. It was the, I think Eddie Major slid, I think Eddie Major slid his own throat. Yeah. That knife's, a, that knife's like in his neighbor's house. So he went outside all mad and threw his own. So true. Man. Oh, fuck <laughs> out here, Bro. I wrote it down and I didn't even look at it. I was like, oh. You should have seen me watching it. I was like, I can't put this out there. I'll just, you know, <laughs> no, nope, I'm not doing <laughs> yeah. it. Oh, but, that's um, we are going to be live in the months, the 11, 13. Oh yeah. 11, 13, November. Um, oh, and I got that's my big, birthday. I know you're going to be um, wow. um, with your son. I do have some side news though. Some big news. I do have clearance to fly to Denver on that KC, that KC game. So I might be out. I'm, I, it's Green light. That'd be tight. A little hash mark on site. It is a, yeah. a Sunday yeah. game. For some very strange reason, I thought it was a Thursday game, but it's a I'm Sunday coming game. in private jet and I'm flying out. Same day. Hey, Sunday hey, night hey, game. Hey, Mr. Evergreen, same day, same night. That's okay. right. In and out. Home at three. Sunday night game. Let's fucking get it, boys. Home, Home at three. Nobody knows. Three a.m. By the way. Yeah. Just <laughs> play Mayweather. Hey, now I, I'm Quick going stop. to make it out to to Chicago. Probably more like a uh, on some NBA type shit. But we'll, I'm gonna get out there. We'll figure That's it fine. out. I just gotta I gotta let everything blow away over here. But yeah. I'm, All right. I'm did I even there. did we start L.A. All right, I gotta yeah, do it Eddie did his uh, okay. L.A. Rams. All right, so we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go in the same order now. We'll go to Beast and then Rick and then Knox. Um, I think I have just not been impressed with the Rams all year. Um, I it's and then the Bucks have too much talent. I'm going minus three, um, on the on the spread and then going money line there as well minus one fifty five. Those are my two picks. I just I think that Tom Brady is gonna put it together this game the rams are looking unimpressive super bowl hangover i just i don't i don't see the rams doing much this year besides you know maybe a few easy games they got left maybe the maybe they beat the saints maybe they uh beat the raiders 
don't know, but I just don't. I don't see them them beating uh, beating the uh, the Buccaneers here. I think Tom Brady is due to uh, win and beat this uh, slide he's got going on. The worst he's had in his career. I think he's. I think they're due. Too much talent. And All right. yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But, Rick, what do you um, got? I, I think I think Tom I think Tom catches a win, but I think uh, the Rams cover from west to east. I think they do cover plus two and a half. I'm gonna take the Rams plus two and a half. Guarantee. All right. Fontaine, victory. <clears throat> All right. I I you know this is um this game for me um as much as I want to take Tampa Bay, I've been burned by these guys. Seriously, I I, I hate the Rams. Super Bowl hangover is real. Um, I can't take the three. I don't know. I, I just this game's so ugly. No action. No comment. First time in history. Don't give a fuck. Who's up next? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I so I'm gonna go with the you kind of piggyback off your guys' Super Bowl hangover, and I'm gonna say this is a Super Bowl revenge spot for the Buccaneers. Yep. Blowout. Um, I mean, I don't know. They, these two teams fucking suck. Mm-hmm. And uh, Vic Vay's already talked about retirement. Like Aaron Donald didn't even really want to come back. It seems like, and he's back. He's still fucking playing his ass off. But I'm looking at a revenge spot here for uh, Tampa Bay. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, lay the three, I guess, Chad. Yeah, you know, um, Ireland's laying the three. I said it was really ugly of a game. As much as I wanted to lay any stuff with Brady, I have no play in this game. Uh, I'll go over to Knots. What do you got here? I have no play either, and and I truly believe that if you did want to have any play on the Bucks, you should have led it at one and a hook, right? Because I was widely available, yeah. and and uh, the number three in NFL now is hitting at a thirteen percent rate. So if if you're betting a line that moved beyond a three when it was open below a three, you're you're in a completely negative expectation bet um i've talked about this a lot i i do believe that the nfl i and it didn't work the last tnf but i i low-key i kind of like what i saw out the bucks and i did see the refs try to help them a little bit um i i don't see no way the bucks don't win this division my guys i just don't yeah uh, i mean it, i i i I mean, so bad for business for the NFL if, if we have the Falcons here in a divisional playoff game. I mean, their lunch me. That, that's – no. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, if you force me to bet this game, I'd take the Bucks. But the X factor here, Cooper Cup, probably not playing. So what's this force the Rams to do? I mean, the different. Rams they're, – well, they're, their get-right spot was last week, right? I mean, they had two weeks against – the Niners that have completely owned you for so long, and, and what were they? I mean, they, they were in in the first half, complete lunch meet in the second half. Yeah, uh, see, I, I can't. Called it. See, I called it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I, I can't put my money on the Rams. I just can't do no. it. But uh, no. But but my thing here is that maybe with Cooper Cup being out, maybe this forces them to actually do something that's not completely predictable, right? I mean. You can't just go to Cooper Cup every every freaking yeah, God. It's it. I mean, as a defensive coordinator, how easy is that to stop? Maybe the Rams call yeah. some here, it, and the and, value and probably. Up, and, what, and what's up, this dude Cam Akers? Like he had a great first season, rookie season, and now he's just. Well, yeah. I mean, he wants to get. He wanted to get traded, and they didn't trade him, so now he's just sitting there stuck. I, I, I don't. I don't. Even, I mean, is he? Are they even going to play him next week? He's on the IR right now. And it says personal McVay, reasons. So. McVay does not like uh, Green Acres. I guarantee. McVay. We're go, we're gonna go. We're gonna go but to Sunday night you, here. If you go if you go look at the injury report. He's he's on the injury report and it says personal reasons. So hmm. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, tough game. Coin flip. I would have liked uh, the Bucks at the minus one and a hook. It it over anything three. I think the value's on the Rams. That's my. Opinion. I agree. Sunday night, Sunday night, Mr. Mother F and Sunday night. Um, I'll start this one off. Uh, Ricky Nash will go to you second here. Tennessee at Tennessee, Tennessee at Tennessee, and Tennessee and Tennessee. Tennessee <laughs> versus Tennessee and Tennessee, Kansas City. <laughs> Tennessee at Kansas City. This one opened up 10 and a half live line. Looking at 12, 12 and a half in some spots. Got to take 12 and a half here. I'm taking Tennessee 
12 and a half, a little bit of a sprinkle, not a lot. Uh, I do like Tennessee here. I think their ground game takes care of um, uh, things. And listen, if the quarterback play isn't going to be there for you, uh, Tennessee, uh, you can run the ball with a guy like the name of Derrick Henry. I think they do eat up that Kansas City defense a little bit. This game's a little closer than we think as well. Same order, Eddie Beast, Rick Knotts. Go ahead, and then we'll see I. Definitely got a roll with the Titans, plus 12 and a half. The Chiefs never cover. You know, it seems like they could blow some teams out, but they fucking let them come right back in it. So I'm rolling with the uh, Titans plus 12 and a half. Disappointed in you, Eddie. We'll yeah, see man. Happens. Yeah, man. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay the wood. Over. I'm going to lay the wood. We haven't seen it lately. There's right? my if, blood. If you, if you look back, if you look back just in these last primetime games, the dog's been covering. We are due for a lock fave century this is a kc fucking blowout probably by 24 points this is an ugly ugly game kc blows them out Ooh. at arrowhead let's fucking go though i said 13 to 30 rick you're right there with me let's get him go uh, ahead let's... beast beast next or me go ahead now beast okay i'll go I'm... so first off Oh, sorry. So, okay, go ahead, Beast. No. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. No, go I'm, ahead. I'm, no, just, I'm gonna I'm ramble saying, on this game. I'm gonna ramble. I'm, I'm basically beast, saying beast, the same beast, thing. Beast, You're gonna have to edit me on this. Beast, shit. I'm basically saying the same thing. I think the Chiefs' offense explodes. I think I, I'm I'm a, a fucking Chief hater, but uh, you know, real recognize real, right? Yep. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna explode. I think game, um, game recognize game. Let's get it. I just think that the that Tennessee's not gonna be ready for it. And uh, so that oh, my bad. I don't think I don't think the I don't think Tennessee's passing offense is gonna is is there. I think they're gonna have to rely on uh Derrick Henry. And if they get if KC explodes like they can with their offense, you know, they're not gonna be able to run Henry the whole time to catch up. I think they I think the Chiefs put a put a um. They score enough know. points that they don't have that the that the Tennessee Titans are gonna be behind. So Okay, Jan, let's fucking go. Imagine. Look at you over there, look looking at the camera, knowing you wrong on your own fucking team. <laughs> we'll see what happens, man. Two. We'll see. I seen the two. Play let's, so let's, hold on, let me talk here. Two. Let's let the bookmakers tell us the story here because two five and two teams. And one of them is laying 12 and a half points. Who's the fraud here? Let's look, go look at uh, the, the history in this matchup. Let's go look at the track record. Tennessee Titans, five and two, straight up. N-A-T-S. No, not five and two. Five and one, right? I think I'm right on that. My bad. I don't got my notes in front of me. Yeah, yeah, I'm going yeah. off the head. Definitely lopsided on the Titans. I agree with that. Yep. First off. When I looked at this, I said, I don't know if I want the Chiefs coming off the bye, flying high. They might look past this game. Oh, let's go look back at last season. They laid four against these Tennessee Titans. And what happened? 27 to three, final score. The Titans completely shut them out, completely took a shard on them. Yep. Now, I guarantee you these Chiefs will remember this. Let's go look at uh let's go look at Andy Reid off a of bye impeccable in the Mahomes era. I mean, just completely impeccable. And these are all, I, I look back three games, all divisional games. That's an environment that is hard to blow teams out. All three of these games were complete blowouts. This, uh, this one's so easy for me. You'd lay the wood with the Chiefs here. I mean, it's just so obvious the, the world's going to want to, they're going to look at this. They're going to see two, five and two teams. Two teams that are going to win their division, go to the playoffs, and they're going to say, why in the freaking hell is the Titans catching 12 and a half points here? I'll tell you why, because the Titans are freaking frauds. I've been telling you all this all season. The Chiefs saying, I love what the Chiefs are doing. The Chiefs are a team that could potentially win a Super Bowl this season. The Titans aren't. Yeah, here's what Vrabal say. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to We're going to run the ball, run the ball. Okay, good luck with that here. Yeah, I know we all said the Chiefs didn't cover spreads last season. 
And look, they, this season, I haven't seen them lay a double-digit spread until now. Illinois. What are the bookmakers telling you here? The bookmakers are telling you that we all want to think that the Chiefs don't cover spreads. <laughs> my guys, this game, here's my final they do. score. They do. Game. Fireworks in Tennessee. Here's my, here's my prediction. And look, here's here. my insurance. Here's what my insurance. My insurance is I'm taking the under as well. I booked it at 46 and a half. Either way, this game turns out. So if the Tennessee Titans find a way to stick in this game and they're, they're literally all, – all they could do – we got Willis here, okay? What did he do last week? He – 55 yards. They, they let him pass the ball 10 times. And this was against the Houston Texans, who are lunch me on run defense. Literally, DVOA, 32nd, and not even close. Like, they are – they should be like 64th. They they cannot stop the run to fucking save their life. We saw it tonight. The Chiefs honestly are not that bad at stopping the run anymore. DVOA 17th. They can't stop the run. Henry is not going to put up 200 and some yards on him this in this game. Not uh, and not put no. you over under. Under. I'm, that's my insurance because either way this game turns out. Under, so if under the Titans what? Under, what? under what? 46 and a half, 46 and a hook. Because even if the Titans do stick in this game, they're going to do it by long, sustainable drives, and, and they have to score a touchdown on every single one of those. If they get down by two scores here, what are you going to keep doing? Keep running the ball? No, you can't. So what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to have Willis, who is not an NFL quarterback at all. You're going to have to have him try to get you some box checks. It's not going to happen, and it's still going to stay under because – all you're going to get is three and outs, and then you're going to get Andy Reid. He's going to run the ball. He's going to keep it on the ground, burn the clock out. The insurance here is the under, and the play is the Kansas City Chiefs. You lay the wood. And either you go 2-0 and or you go 1-1. One one. Either way, you don't lose. Easy. Love this Sunday night game. <coughs> well, <laughs> I – that was a lot. That's a, that's a check. Sorry, I, I told Holy you guys I was going to ramble here, shit. but I hey, love hey, this hey, Sunday hey, night. Hey, I love it too. Mr. Not, MF hey, Sunday hey, night's back. Hey, All right, we got Rick. Hey, Fuck hey yeah. we're, we're on the same page. We, we've been on the same page since fucking week three. Let's get it. Fucking go, KC baby. KC and the undie. I, I see right now 45 and a half. Worst, worst case scenario, we we push. Best case scenario, we go 2-0. and oh. Easy. You lay the yeah, wolf to the Chiefs and you play it out. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just silent because um, – You were that's, leaning that's, Titans up because it makes sense to lean Titans, but it don't. I'm officially, well, I know, I know, I'm officially I know. off the Titans, and that is my eighth cash out of the night. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I was on the Titans. I thought the number was high there. Uh, I, I and, and like everybody said, thinks Casey that, yeah. doesn't cover, so I thought the back door would be alive there over ten. I'm like, okay, I'll 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 take twelve there, and the dog is five and one in the last six in this in in these matchups. But like now, you know, now that I look at that again, because it's always been the dog, the Titans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Titans plus 28, then it was KC plus three and a half, then Titans plus eight, Titans plus nine, Titans plus eight, Titans plus 19, and that goes all the way back to 2014. So, yeah, dude. Uh, I mean, it's hard. It's hard one to say. I mean, my pick is Titans, but that's a that's a hard uh, that's a hard one to go after, John. <laughs> I think we should just. Acknowledge the fact that uh, Eddie Major's over here sending in his, all his you up texts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, e Major, I, he thought, honest, I thought he you were going to be all this. Hey, I, e Major, I thought you were going to be fully with the Chiefs on me here, bro. I'm disappointing you, man. I man, I need be. to put some uh, open, uh, open bet league or whatever it's called. <laughs> open league. Open, open. bet league. <laughs> Wait, hey, he's trying to get a oh, bet league. Yeah, bro. That is. <laughs> no. Usually I'm the one who drank too much, man. That's y'all tonight. That openly. It's a shit show. Um okay. E Major, you you serious, bro. You 
Two five and two teams. Look how the books are grading this. That's a great point. I, I mean, I see your point. How in the fly fuck? I mean, how are two this five is a, and oh, This is a Vegas two special. Five and two, here, Chad. Teams. two five and two teams, and one of them's laying 12 in a hook. I mean, Vegas is let looking the bookmakers tell you the story. One. Let yeah. the bookmakers tell you the story here. This line is all over KC. All over KC, bro. All right. Rick, a thousand. All right. <laughs> no, let's see how the goes. Uh, uh, Nozar, check, check, check your phone. I will. All right. <laughs> final. Do we go around the horn here? Final game. All right. Yeah. Monday Night Football. Hey, Nuts. Hey, Nuts. I love when we're on the same page, son. Betty, buddy, Monday Night Football. I knew we were going to be on, Rick. I knew we were going to be on the same page here. Baltimore at worry. New Orleans. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Give me New Orleans here. Um, and I got nothing else to say about that one, but I do like New Orleans here. Eddie, what do you got? <sighs> Monday night. Got to kind of see how the other games go. No action as of yet. Um, I like New Orleans. I'll roll with New Orleans for now. See, I... I'll go next. I Well, my bad. I, I rambled and go rambled ahead. and rambled, so I, I'm going to keep this simple. Yeah, go ahead. Monday night football, quite simply – this season, it's pretty obvious. All you do is it's the Vegas special and you fed the public. Why do you take New Orleans here? I don't have a good explanation, but uh, <laughs> right. we go to the big easy and this is going to be big easy. And we're going to take New Orleans plus the three. That's where I booked it at. New Orleans. Let's go, baby. Now, so these these first weeks in November, notoriously pretty good for you or or what? Coming out of October and shit or what? Oh, I mean, I. I think y'all see the look on my face. I'm pretty. I think excited. you're ready to go. I'm about, and, and, and I'm, I, I'm about and to I, make I feel it. real good about this week nine. And I and I think <laughs> that and I think that Jameis comes back and wins Monday Night Football against the Ravens. Wow! Is that, is that who's starting? Big is easy it, in the Big Easy. Boys. Is it Jameis who's starting? Mm -hmm. He will. It's not declared yet, but he will beat Lamar Jackson in the Big even easy. if he don't. Even if he He'll don't, come, I mean, Red come. Rockets plays good at home. He does. Yeah. Damn it, you're, gonna, you're you making all my points, Ricky. East, what do you got? I'm going to go with New Orleans, too. The, I mean, they beat my Raiders, so, I mean, they got to be doing good, right? That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I just think that, um, yeah, it's one of those games where it's like it's it's it should be blatantly obvious that it's the Ravens, but – and especially when the spread's so close, it's like, <coughs> it's like I, it's like, pick the Saints because it's it should be obviously the Ravens, but mm -hmm. the feeling is to fade that and go with the Saints, and that's just my analysis on it. I like it. No, it's good. That's good. Hey, something <laughs> I'm never gonna say on the show. Pinnacle right now. 95% of the money is on the Big Easy. I'll just say that. I don't like it. You don't like it? No, so okay, you, you want to like hear Because that's the sharp book. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. That's, I'm sorry. It's I'm early sorry. in the week, and 95% of the money is on the Big Easy. And you're seeing the, the line is clearly steaming that way. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. This is my this is my uh, we'll have future future segment pick. I'm 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 all over the fucking Saints here. I, I I'm I'm taking a money line. Um, I, I'm I fully believe Baltimore is going to be going to be an upset team. Come, uh, I think Lamar Jackson is going to be he's going to be up there for MVP at the end of the year. Uh, but this this is a spot where Baltimore Baltimore is not going to win this one. For yeah, sure. Shit the bed. Um, yep. so so we're going to go right into money line dog uh, of the week. No teasers or parlay segments this week, uh, just because we went really long. Um, so money line dog of the week for me, we'll start off here. Uh, I had two, one of them lost. It was the Houston Texans. I'll look good early. The other one is the uh, New York jets. Uh, sorry if I stole anybody's thunder. I'm going with the big daddies this week. Eddie, what do you got here? Money line dog of the week. Then we'll go down to the problem week. with Giselle plus one thirty. Yes, AKA. sir. Los Angeles Rams. We'll see yeah. what we can do, man. I think that divorce is really getting the time, and I don't know if he can recover. We'll see. I don't think so. Peace. What do you got? Jags. All right. Jags over my Ragers. And then, Fontaine. you know, Saints. Fontaine, money line dog of the week. What do you got out there? Uh, 
I just see the plus 160 charges. Charges, mm -hmm. money line, dog of the week. I like it. Five dog. Nats, nah, what do you think there? What do you got? Chargers, Chargers on a dog, Rick. Chargers. Chargers. Three, yeah, take, three take, retake, retake, hard at it. We're gonna we're gonna we'll wait. Hold on. Take, All, also, we, we need to make uh, uh yeah, big hard take. My boy had it, my boy had a Ireland? few drinks tonight. We, we need to make that uh still. I love that Giselle take. We need to make that a video. Thanks, Nats. Thanks, Nats. You want that out? I uh, I, I, I absolutely tomorrow? think that right? Tom right Brady don't give a flying fuck about Giselle. You want that out? No, not anymore. No, but no, but I just, I just love that. I just love that he's called it. I'm going with Giselle. I thought it's hilarious. Wow. And we gotta yeah. do that. All right. Um. All right. So we're going to go back to go Rick. back to Rick. Go back, to Rick, Rick. Rick. Money line dog of the week. There's a lot out there. Lots to choose from. We'll come back. Ireland. What do you got? Money line dog of the week. Uh, this this uh money line dog of the week this week is New Orleans, John. I I like uh. I just think this is a spot that Baltimore is going to, like, like not said, shit the bed. Uh, this is a game that they're, uh, they're, they're just the Harbaugh's been making some questionable calls. It, it comes into play this week, and 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 New Orleans has a, has a big, big game at home. Now that's what he got. I honestly, I had three money line dogs a week. See, I just took one of them. I'm gonna say the two others. One thing I do want to say is I love DJ. How how you take like. Your money line dogs of the week are like plus three, four hundred, bro. Yeah, like, a while, baby. And they've wow. been cashing, man. They've been cashing. I love that. Yep. Mine ain't so big. Detroit Lions, Washington. My mm. two money line dogs of the week. I like that. A game we there's did not. There, no. sorry, Dave, there's there's not a lot of big dogs this week. I mean, no. you got the Jets. You oh, right. But I mean, the Houston. DJ always takes those big ones, man. He been hitting those. So, yeah, uh, no, I just I took just, my hat to that. You know, the book needs them, right? Um. We we talked about uh, a little bit of Wong teasers. There's just a couple out there I like uh, bringing. I, you know, I don't even want to talk about. Them. I'm not, we're not doing that. Okay. Uh, fi final thoughts. Final thoughts. And real quick, just because he's here, um, any college play beast that uh, we should be looking at this weekend? Anything? No. College football. No. Where's LSU? What do you got, Eddie? Anything we should be looking at? I don't know what the line is, but I mean, there's some good games. LSU versus Alabama, Tennessee versus uh, Georgia. Um, mm. let's watch okay. Is there an opportunity to make money on Saturday? Notoriously, I lose all my money in college. Wow. Money know. line, money line, dog of the week, Ricky Fontaine, the Chargers plus 275 over the Bengals. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Over the Chargers of hey, uh, the Panthers, Rick, the Panthers. Rick's talking Bro. about bet openly. He Rick just made his own bet on bet openly, openly plus one six. He brought us, he brought <laughs> us in. He, he brought us back yeah. like Panthers, so. The Panthers over the Bengals. All right, <laughs> Panthers, Panthers over Bengals. Plus, plus two seventy five. All right, Rick, money line dog of the week. Who do you got this week? The Panthers plus two seventy five. Wow! 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 There's, there's one of the bigger dogs. Guarantee. This week. That's a big dog. That's a big bobcat. Bobcats being spotted all over Illinois. Hey, hey Sheesh! What you got, Sheesh? Sheesh! Uh, he, sheesh. Already, he already did his. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's going to a dog show too on Saturday, boys. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, what yeah, do we got? Good luck. Good luck. Nice. Good luck, ma'am. Yo, real quick, oh, I suppose I don't know. Covers. Wait. Final thoughts here. Yeah, yeah, Final yeah, yeah. thoughts. We got to end the show here. Okay. Final thoughts. Uh, we'll, we'll start with uh, the beast. Uh, first, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's your first uh, full time. I didn't actually plan on you, you staying so long. Uh, why don't you go ahead and plug your show real quick and um, tell everybody that you're all right. You're not yeah. dying uh, and you're good to go. God yep. bless. God bless. You know. Not dying. Um, like I said, I just, I don't know if you guys can see my, uh, my background here, it's uh, type 2 diabetes warrior. It is diabetes awareness month. So uh, if you guys have anything like any sort of uh, like uh, fundraisers or donations you can do. I know like Hy-Vee and around my area, I think they do juvenile diabetes. Um, donate a little something, five, ten bucks, a dollar, whatever it is. I know Casey's does it, I think, too. Um, if you can give a little bit of something to them, uh, my show is FYO, fuck your opinion with uh, Dylan Schmidt. I won't say it's my show; it is our show. 
We mm-hmm. are a group. We are a crew. We are a team. Love those guys. Um, it's great to work with funny. them every day. They're funny. They're funny. Oh, they yeah. are funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's a great yeah, team. And, uh, and, 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 chal- and they challenge Knots. They challenge Knots. They, <laughs> they did challenge Knots. Yeah, and like I said, we're we're a great team. We talk about sports in general. We talk about everything that's going on in the NFL, NBA, uh, UFC. We talk about it all. And uh, unlike unlike you guys, we don't um, we don't handicap anything because we don't want to take anything away from your guys' show. Um, we all we all work together as a group, you know, and we have our own thing. We try to stay out of your lane, and you know, you guys do your handicapping. Uh, we do our sports talk, and you know it's just it works great. Um, Hashmark Iowa's got a lot of cool things coming up. Um, we've got the uh, I've got a guy that's gonna come in and uh, talk about competition barbecuing, which is really cool in my opinion. Um, oh shit! Let me get in on that beast. Dude, he, <laughs> he's he's barbecue uh-huh. king, my boy. He uh, yeah he 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 does competitions, so he's uh. Whenever well, y'all want to bring me in on there, I I have some things to say. Do you got that Ricky, Ricky Knott's put... barbecue sauce? You got that, that Ricky Knott's sauce or what? Oh, bro, I, I barbecue about five days out of the week. So. <laughs> how, well, how, I, how, actually, how, I... how about that? Instead of the Ricky not Ricky hot sauce, we just call it the hot the not sauce. Ricky not Knott's sauce. Knott's sauce. <laughs> yes, sauce. Man, I'm a marketing genius. Love it. Come on, man. Yo, we that's should just funny. have every everybody that's in Hashmark has their own kind of sauce. <laughs> I got mine. It. Mine would yeah, be sugar free. You know what I'm mine saying? Mine would be called. Yeah, no, no, nowadays. Mine would be called cum. It'd be a white hot. It'd be a white hot. <laughs> I, I, I come. I wanted to say that DJ you beat uh, me to it. Cum white hot yeah. sauce. Come over. <laughs> uh, yeah. But we're DJ we're our show. <laughs> our show drops on Fridays, no, and that's uh, about all I got to say. So yeah, I appreciate no, you guys you. letting me get thank on you. here. And thank you drop some knowledge and like i said i learned so much from you guys so that's how i was able to put some good picks together tonight and uh let's all keep watching you guys keep watching us yeah i'm watching you every night i'm watching you change i can't watch i can't wait to voyeur in on your family as i um uh ransomware and uh go into your nest camera system so Um, that was that was the worst way to put it because it's not ransomware. It's supposed to be hack. You're an idiot. All right, that's a hard edit. Anyways, uh, last thoughts, um, Eddie. Eddie, final thoughts. Uh, you know, we definitely don't uh, advise betting on props and shit like that too much. But I'll give some. I know you had that in the rundown. Uh, yeah, like my to- bad. Well, we we skipped the whole segment. But go ahead. This final thoughts. You can do this in final thoughts. I think it's perfect. And then give a yeah, final, final thought. Thoughts. You know, Tariq Hill, Justin Jefferson had him last week, didn't do anything, so we're going to spin again. Well, Tyreek Hill, a lot of yards last week. Yeah, a lot of yards for sure, for sure. But we like that anytime, TD. I like Mixon. He didn't get one last week. Uh, Probably get one this week. Kelsey, and I like uh, Derrick Henry. Uh, Final thoughts? Primetime dogs? Let's ride. Chris, uh, Ireland. Final thoughts. Final thoughts is uh, just watch the show, learn, and win. Now it's final thoughts. I have two final thoughts. The first one is whenever you see my guy over there, Eddie Potatoes, fade his own fucking team, you <laughs> slam that shit. I, I mean, I was already going to put a 20-piece on there. It might just be might be a little mo now after I heard E Major fading his own team. My second final thought, we were just talking about this with Gino. Yes, everybody knows the Wong teaser. Yeah, I, I, I hate that word, Wong teaser, bro. It's just a teaser, okay? It's not a Wong teaser. Everybody want to talk about all the bullshit. They have, and honestly, the truth is, if you played them all, I'm very below. Not, not. I mean, I'm like a slight bit below profitable right now. In November, these lines get a lot sharper. And what you do is you slam these freaking teasers now in November. Yes, if if you were watching TikTok and you were like, oh, I've been betting all these Wong teasers and I'm losing. Now what you do here in November, you start betting the teasers even heavier. Okay? That's my final thought. Yeah, I, I like your point there. And, um, you know, one you could look at is, is, is possibly bringing um, – 
you know, the Bengals down to just win the game. And then uh, I also have uh, the Jags. Here. There's only three on the board. Deech. You could bump only them up. Three on take, the board. You take every one of them. And um, I think they start hitting. I think, I think, I think you could go three and all this weekend teasers. If you played it. final thoughts uh, though, from uh, Mr. Uh, Ricky Parlay slash Fontaine in the house tonight. He made it. I can't believe slash it. clairvoyant. Wow. What do you got to say, Rick? Do you uh, want to clear the air about uh, the Astros? I think you're fine. What happened? Uh, we're, I mean, no, no, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Buddy. I think, I think Astros, uh, I think Astros win this fucking series, which is pitiful because they what? are cheaters. But uh, final thought <laughs> is that uh, I do wish that uh, Aaron Johns, if we can get him on the network next week, would love to see him in the quad box. Uh, Aaron Johns, great, great friend of the program. He, took care of us Look at the jam soul bottom left with uh dj uh yeah he's a smart guy i mean he, he knows football he's learning he, he told me he is learning mm -hmm. um but like not said i mean whenever when whenever eddie potatoes fades his own team you hammer it. i love kc you book it john book it kc guarantee victory take the points hey no hold up one more final thought that i want to Go off on this uh world yeah, series. Go ahead. Rick. Because yeah. Rick, don't don't you always like to fade the narratives, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I mean so I mean now the whole world thinks Philly's dead, obviously, right? Yeah. They can't go win two games on the road in Houston. No they gonna way. win to the me, next game. To me, that feels like they're gonna win these two games on the road in Houston. Yeah. No, it's going, it's going seven. Ireland called it. Not even going seven. I mean, I, I think Philly still wins the series. Am I wrong? Yeah, it's going well, it's seven. It's going to have to go seven if Philly's going to win it. If, but, yeah, they, if Philly wins it, it goes seven. Yeah. So, but, I mean, the, start, start looking ahead to the next week. Who's Philly playing in the NFL? Uh, and real quick, side note, Rick, did the, did the soccer thing pan out, or is that this Sunday? I, th I think it's Saturday, CI. Is it Saturday? Uh, uh, LA plays, Ireland. Uh, we did put some money down on the, the Philadelphia women's team. Money. Oh, money. I have no, I have no clue about MLS or whatever that uh, is. Philadelphia Union. Philadelphia Union plays yeah. LA on the fifth. What day is that? The fifth. Fifth. That's going to be a Saturday. 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 Yeah. They are plus three seventeen. I mean, you got to put a little action on, right? A little bit of action, just in case. I mean, it was part so, of the so. My bad, because I'm not up to date. But uh, would that be Game Seven too, as well? Yeah, I was gonna say, would that be Game Seven? Um, is it Friday, Saturday, or is it Saturday, or is it or do Friday, they give Sunday? A day break. You would give a day break for travel because it's it's two two, and then back. Oh to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. okay, so Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it wouldn't be that. Yeah. Yeah, see, I is the Saturday, soccer Sunday. guy. And then who are the seven? Yeah, no, not MLS though. I don't, I don't, I don't know MLS. We gotta look at it all. Flyers, who the Flyers playing, who are the 76ers playing. There might be something there. Anyways, uh, remember, place the bet because you believe so, not because we said so. Uh, enjoy your weekend as always, and hopefully you're watching this show before Friday, CST, 5 p.m., uh, because it is nothing else that I got to do these days, folks. All right. Uh, as always, God bless America and uh, Ricky Nuts. Uh, we'll take us out. You know what to do, right? You know what time it is, and I'm calling the Phillies to win this series, the World Series Phillies, wow. World Champions. Okay. Break the book. Run it! Run it! Run it! Run it! Run it! He's trying to bang Ricky back. Let's go. <laughs> all right, we're out. All right, we can all hang out.